And uh, so moving on to Russ, who gave you another nice compliment. Uh, so I, I have to tell you, uh, so we have Russ joining us uh, from uh, somewhere in Utah. And uh, sometimes uh, we always talk about Canadian stuff that we have harsh winters and everything. I know Russ has to live through very harsh winters at home. Sometimes it's like it drops to like 68 degrees at night. And uh, about what's that, about 16, 17 in Celsius. But I have to tell you, Permashield's a... Uh, Certainly a well-known product, but what I really love about uh, just a little bit uh, connections I've had with Russ is his uh, LinkedIn profile says, I help dealers grow their tire business and make more profit using Permashield tire sealants. Uh, Russ, tell us a little bit more. Wow. what I, That's kind of a tricky com I, I, I'm a <laughs> lost, I don't even know what to say after that introduction. <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Hey, no problem anytime. Man, you got that on tape, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, um, yeah I'm from Arizona. Uh, I'm traveling this week. I'm in Utah, so it is a little chilly. Uh, this morning, it got into the 50s. I was looking for my down coat this morning um, because I'm from Arizona. I live in Arizona. So 68. That's I short weather in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't even fathom living in Canadian weather anymore. <laughs> The, uh, but certainly love the opportunity to be here. Appreciate the opportunity uh, to uh, speak in front of these uh, professionals and, and get our product more well known and, and get our product better understood. Uh, because I think a lot of people have these misconceptions about Permashield and tire, se tire sealants in general. Um, so I do have a quick uh, slideshow that I'll roll through. Uh, if you don't mind, I won't take the video portion of it away at all, uh, or I won't play the video portion of it away. Um, but um, ultimately, Uh, Permashield uh, really is about guaranteeing that the vehicles don't get flat tires anymore. Um, it is absolutely a revolutionary product um, that no matter what you do with it um, or uh, up to a quarter of an inch size hole in your tread, um, your tire won't go flat. So my background is, is, is irrelevant. Ultimately, it's about Permashield. Um, I have been in the car business a long time. Um, but really what the facts are is that dealer profits are being compressed. And John touched about it a little earlier. Dealer profits are being compressed in the United States upwards of $400 per car uh, just since 2018. Um, many dealers are tired of the same old products. Uh, agents or vendors, they come in, oh, I got this great VSC. I got this great new GAP program. I got this. Well, what can I, uh, I already have that, right? So this positions itself into a space that no one's ever seen. It's not the same old, same old products. We know that on average, seven tire punctures occur every second in the United States. That's 220 million flat tires a year uh, is an enormous uh, problem in the United States. One third of all new vehicles sold today do not have a spare tire. Um, in efforts to get the uh, government mandated miles per gallon uh, numbers higher, uh, OEMs are lowering weights. And the easiest way for them to do that is through the spare tire. 20% of all drivers that even if they had a spare tire, don't know how to change the tire. 27% um, of all roadside emergencies are tire related. So one in four, it's not just batteries. It's not just, you know, uh, out of gas. Um, one in four is tire related. Um, and then the biggie that we work on every day to try and resolve is that 12% of those a pedestrian accidents um, uh, are fatal. So uh, we're always constantly working and, and moving towards uh, getting better so that we can eliminate flat tires uh, completely. Ours is the only permanent tire sealant, as a key word, permanent tire sealant that eliminates the flats, is t tire pressure monitor system friendly, and does not create a chronic vibration in the vehicle. Um, the product itself, um, it prevents a seal, or prevents and seals a puncture up to a quarter of an inch size hole. So a nail, a screw, some kind of an object goes into the tread of that tire up to a quarter of an inch. Uh, Permashield will seal it. Uh, it will not allow the tire to lose uh, uh, pressure and will continue to be able to maintain and drive the vehicle, certainly to get out into a safe uh, location or get it repaired or whatever. Uh, it's not gonna blow out on you. Um, it is, here's the key component. Uh, it is water soluble. Traditional tire sealants are glue and petroleum based. So they're very sticky, nasty, just ugh, stuff. Ours is water based. It is not sticky. Uh, it uses uh, air pressure uh, along with centripetal force to make sure that the product stays on the tread. When it stays on the tread, it seals the hole. 
that is the tire pressure monitor system safe? 2008, the mandate from the U.S. government, I'm sure in Canada it was the same, uh, for the tire pressure monitor systems to be installed on every single vehicle sold in the United States. Traditional sealants, they all went away. They were very popular in the 90s um, and the early 2000s, but they, they can't handle the, the tire pressure monitor systems because they ultimately harden because they are petroleum and glue based um, and they ruin the sensors at you know, $70 a piece. Um, our product uh, travels directly through the sensor, uh, does not stay in the sensor and it stays on the tread wall, doesn't move around uh, significantly like traditional sealants do. Um, and then here's our, here's our big whammy. The product is made with DuPont Kevlar. Everybody understands and knows the power and strength of DuPont's Kevlar. We only use DuPont's Kevlar, the original manufacturer of the, of the product. Uh, essentially, if, if, if it can stop a bulletproof vest, or, or if, it, if it's in a bulletproof vest and it can stop bullets, um, you know, we thought, wow, why couldn't we put it in this product too? So that it can bond with the rubber and our polymer um, so that, that it will uh, stun the tire at loss of pressure. Okay. Um, the, uh, and here's the, the next, it just gets, get, just gets better. Uh, it's guaranteed 100%. We guarantee that we'll repair or replace the tire um, up to three years uh, if it fails to prevent the flat. So if you get a, a hole, uh, a quarter of an inch size in diameter, size of a pencil, uh, we'll repair or replace the, the tire for free uh, for three years. Okay. Uh, you can also buy, there's all kinds of different ways you can do that, uh, but you can also buy longer terms as well. Okay. Um, and then, so ultimately what's in it for the customer, what's in it for the, uh, and I'll get to the service drive in a second, but what we're helping customers is that we're allowing them to save time. Average roadside assistance call in the United States is over two hours today. It better convenience. You get a flat or you get a puncture on your uh, tire or a nail goes in your tire on a Tuesday night, you come out Wednesday morning, bang, it's flat. Now you've wasted a half a morning because you got to uh, figure out one, how to get your kids to school, how to get to work, how to to repair the tire, how to do all those things, and then of course the safety factor. We don't want people to be left on the side of the road uh, with vehicles whizzing by them at 70 miles an hour. Uh, I drove uh, from Phoenix to Utah here yesterday, um, and I saw at least a half a dozen flat tires on the way uh, with people, and here in Utah the speed limit is 80 miles an hour. Um, so it's incredibly unsafe to uh, be stuck out there somewhere with a flat tire, let alone in the middle of somewhere uh, as well. So I'll see the video. Uh, portion. Yeah, I'll skip the video. I'll skip the video portion. Everybody's awake now, right? Wow. Um, yeah. The uh, uh, so what's ultimately in it for the dealer? The product is non-cancelable. So whether it's sold in the finance office or if it's sold in the service drive, once it's in the tire, it can't be taken out uh, and refunded. There's virtually no upfront cost. We will supply the product for you. Um, you sell the product and then pay for the product. It adds real value to a car deal. Every single customer that comes into the service drive has experienced a flat tire. Every single customer in one way, shape, or form has had and gone through that pain of a flat tire. It's a differentiator. It sets you apart as a dealership. Um, if you're doing a proper MPI, you know you're already talking about tires. Customers need new tires. They've experienced those problems. It differentiates you from everyone else. It increased the profits in, in all departments. Obviously, there's a parts markup. There's a, a, a markup in the sales side if you sell it in F&I. There's a markup in the service drive. Uh, there's an hour for installation. Whatever it is, those structures that you want to put in place, they're all completed. It is no mess, non-stick, um, nothing uh, non-flammable and easy storage. So there's no hassles with uh, the barrel, the buckets, all easy to, to take care of high-end product uh, that has run flat tires. It essentially makes a run flat tire. Um, I'm sure everybody on this call understands that when you when you puncture a run flat tire, it runs out of air still. Um, if you have perma shield in your run flat tire and it got a quarter of an inch size hole, your run flat tire doesn't even know that it needs to use its run flatness, right? <laughs> that, that product piece doesn't come into play at all. Um, ultimately, uh, 50 miles and 50 miles an hour is all you can go on a run flat. Um, we, so in Arizona, where I'm from, if, you have, if you're at the Grand Canyon, you catch a, a, a thorn, it's a $700 tow to the nearest BMW dealership, as an example. Um, so it, plus, then you, depending on tread wear, you also have to replace opposing tire and recommend it, especially by Audi, that you replace all four because of the uh, traction sensors. Um, it increases your remote delivery selling, and it also increases your uh, customer attention in the service drive. The customer attention piece in the service drive 
uh, is a big deal. You have a lot more opportunities to talk to customers in the service drive than you do in the sales department. Ultimately, in the sales department, um, you sell 200 vehicles a month. In the service drive, you see 2,000 customers a month. Uh, Question so for you, Russ, from the audience. If, yeah. if uh, that customer has two sets of tires, so they have a winter set and a summer set, um, would it obviously be, I just question whether you, you'd recommend this treatment for both or what's, what's the thought there? So, yes, it depends on if you keep the wheel. If you keep, if you have literally two sets of tires with the wheel, then it's no problem. Uh, there's no issue. If you're changing the wheel and changing the tire on that single wheel, then you would have to replace the perma shield each time that you did it. Uh, but yes, it would continue to operate and work uh, the same way. So if I took it off the rim and I put the other tire on the rim, I'd have to give it a shot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Great question. Well, Russ, Russ, I, to interject here for a moment too, what are your challenges uh, when you have with, with people selling this in the service drive? What do you run into um, from the people? Yeah. The people have what? to work there. Yeah, it's, it's really an education piece. And to piggyback on what John said about the education and helping them to understand that it's not fix a flat, is it, to use a competitive term. This is not a temporary solution. This is a permanent uh, fix to anything that may happen to you in the first place. Um, and then two is helping them to understand and fit it into their wheelhouse. Training of the service drive is a critical component to that because, they, like you guys talked about earlier, they are busier than a you know one leg donkey and a whatever, right? <laughs> so uh, they have to be able to get it out in a thirty second spiel that they understand and can connect with the customer. If they're doing all the other things right, multi point inspection around the wheel and the tire, like everybody trains and teaches on. Um, then it's kind of a no brainer to say, you know what, by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, we also have an opportunity now with a brand new product called Permashield. It gives you the chance to never have a flat tire ever again. Would that interest you at all? What do you mean not have a flat tire ever again? What, uh, what do you mean? You go on to explain it or you get the customer says, oh, I have roadside assistance. Oh, okay, so you've experienced the pain of roadside assistance and the two and a half hour wait that it takes or the missed morning or the missed child soccer game on a Saturday. Um, so you understand. So with this product, um, you get the opportunity to never have to deal with that again. Well, I've got another question for you. Let's just say I got a nail in my tire um, and I had this product. Do you still need to take the nail out and then reseal or how does that work? No, that's the beauty of it because the, the product actually seals around the nail. Most customers don't even know that they have a nail or a puncture or an object in their tire in the first place. Um, so unless they see it or hear it uh, clicking on the pavement, uh, they don't even know that they have a nail. Um, so unless they're losing pressure, most people don't even know. So yeah, so, you can leave it in there. It's no issue. So if they wanted to take it out, would it, would that, would it require reapply or how does that come out? No, that's the best part. Um, so if it does require, so you get a concern like, oh, I just don't feel right with the nail on my tire. So you take it to the dealership, you have it patched just like any other dealership you, or any other tire. You literally just move the product, clean it, patch it, and you're done. Um, wow. Put the wheel back. Put the wheel back together. So if you go to our YouTube page or our, or our website permashield.com, you'll see a video to where a tire technician actually takes the tire apart. You can see the product doesn't go anywhere. The product stays on the tread wall. Um, you can see where the nail has been punctured through it uh, and it resolved the issue. Doesn't go anywhere. It just stays right there on the tread wall. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's revolutionary. Wow. You know, it's funny. I have to say that. Uh, when you get a, you've got a sales background, variable ops in the dealership, and uh, what difficulty is it for you to, to transition this for an advisor to actually get them to be a salesperson? Because like your your presentation just tinged. It's, it's something I've done my whole life. So, sir, what if I could show you a way where you could make sure that you didn't have to spend that seven hundred in the tow or call roadside assistance or wait, etc.? What do you run into there with advisors? So really, it's a, it's. I'll be frank. Most of the time, it's the attitude of the advisor, um, and the culture of the store uh, inside that store. Um, a lot of advisors, and frankly, dealerships in general, have a tough time upsetting their their apple cart. Right? They they know what they're doing. They they have a process in place. So we're going to move along with our process, and now Perma Shield is going to make my process go like this. Right? It's just it's just practice. In reality, it's just practice. And if they have some success in the beginning with that practice, 
um, then ultimately they, they'll have success in the long term, regardless if it's PermaShield or if it's a BG product or whatever the product may be. If they can get out of their own comfort zones um, and, and just ask, um, uh, that's really the, the, the piece that, that we really run into the most. I get a lot of head nods in the service drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, good idea, good idea, thanks. Yeah, yeah, oh, I love that, I change. love that stuff. You want a real change? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Another question, what if someone already has run plots on their car? Do you get any blowback with like, oh yeah, I already got that handle, but the tire's not gonna be flat anyway, it's a run flat. You're just trying to oversell me something I don't need. Yeah, and, the, and, and that's certainly a, a good point, but here, and, and maybe in the Northeast, it's, it's different, you know, where you're two minutes from everything. Here in the West of the United States, you're two hours from everything. Um, so a run flat tire and the cost that is in, I don't think people realize what the cost is involved when that tire goes flat. An average run flat tire is six to $700 on a BMW. Um, and if it's an all wheel drive, you're replacing four of them. <laughs> so your X amount of dollars in investment and in, in insurance to, to guarantee that those run flats will stay and you'll never have to use the run flat is yeah. really the benefit, right? It's still inconvenient. It's still going to go flat. It's, you still got to get a change. You still have to do all those things. If you put PermaShield in it, then it, it puts it on your timeline. You can get it fixed and you can get it looked at when you're ready, not when the air runs out of your tire. Right. And I think we have one more question there, I think, don't we? Yeah, is there a question? No, um, we got that one there. Um, so, what, what results can a dealership realistically expect from selling your product, Arctic Coating, BG products, or any one of those hundreds of other things in the, in the drive? Um, so, in the drive, um, we so as an example, um, if a vehicle, let's so let's give you, a, I'll piggyback on this. It's not just about the profitability; it's about the retention. So if you have a sales department that preloads this product on 200 vehicles a month, um, the the sales from that and the revenue generated in the service drive adds up to a million dollars a year in gross profit. Um, so when you piggyback that on to the essentially 10 times the amount of customers that come into the service drive and an average profitability of somewhere around $300. Um, and you just had a 10% closing ratio on 2000 customers. That's another $20,000 a month in your uh, service revenue uh, in gross profit. So it, it, oh, it is crazy how much it adds up. Uh, if you'll just pitch it 100% of the products, 100% of the time, um, it, it, it will absolutely add up because everyone, so as an example, if, if uh, every, not every single person has had a DSC claim, right? Not every single person's had a gap claim, but every single person has had a flat tire. So it's very easy and quick for them to understand and have felt the pain of that flat tire uh, in the service drive quickly. Excellent. Thank you very much.